going to do in this lesson is to look at Excel basics. I've added a new page here by going to insert worksheet. So now you can see that I've got these if I drag that along I've got two worksheets there. One here, one here. Why is this one smaller than this one? Well, of course, they're not. What we've got is that this one is showing worksheet 1 is showing at 200%, worksheet 2 is showing at 100%. Let's come up to here and change this to 200%, and you'll see they're the same size. Okay, let's move first of all to the top here and look at a simple thing here. Merging cells. Here it is. Merging in center. What it does is to merge the, the cells and put the text in the middle. So if I write here, I've merged the cells by pressing that. If I now click on here and then write basic Excel matters. It'll put it there. Now, if I come back, go to this cell borders, and click onto there. You see, I got a thick, thick border around this cell here. I can fill this cell as well, since I'm still on this cell, and I can put some color onto it. What about if I say, well, I don't want that just centered there. What I would like it is centered or left, right? but in the middle. What I do is to go up to Format and Cells. Now I've got, I can do all manner of things in formatting cells. The one I'm looking at is Alignment. And if I say, right, I'll left indent it, that's what I've got there, and this one, I'll center it, then I've centered the, the title in, in there. Okay, let's go down to here. If I want to give this a different title, instead of Sheet 2, I can double-click onto it and just write in. Basic Excel Matters. And I can, if I click off it, click click on it again, press the right hand mouse, go to Tab Color, and give it a color which won't show up immediately, but it will show up. Now what you can see here, another thing that you can see here, is that I've moved this along. I can move this, and I'm only looking at the pages at the moment. If I click to here, you can see that I've got a number of pages going on. Okay. All right, back to basic Excel matters, and I'll push that along so that we're not just... Well, actually, well, another thing I could do is to go to Tools, Options, and on this page, I can turn off all manner of things. I could turn off the Sheet tab, since I don't want to move to different pages for the moment and I get that. The sheet tabs have gone. If I want them back again I have to go up to Tools, Options, turn it back on. However, again I said turn it off, Tools, Options, turn off the sheet, sheet tabs. Another thing I might do if I was providing a title page is go to Tools, Options, and turn off the grid lines. That would give me that 
the cells are still here but it's given a blank sheet so that you could put a title there. I don't want that for the moment. Let's leave the grid lines there. But you can see on here that all manner of things can be looked at. I won't look at those at the moment. Let's go back. Now imagine that I put in 234 pound How do I organize this in terms of that? There's a simple sum that I might be doing. What do I mean by simple sum? 235 pounds and I'm looking at 5% of it. If I clicked onto there, went up to Format and Cells, then I can go to Number, look at Currency, and then write in a figure there. I can put it in two two decimal places. I can leave put the symbol on it like this and then there we are. So that I could go on to there. Alright. I might care to put in something like that. So that I end up with two hundred thirty four pound fifteen pence. Now here, if I was looking at this as a percentage, then I might go up to Format, down to Cells, and this time click down here for Percentage. I don't want it like that. And you see what I've written was 500%, so I need to get back down to it. All right, there is actually 5%. So now I could do the sum, 5% of that. Let's put it down here. Equals that times that. And there I have a figure coming out. Now what we've looked at is the formatting box where we can put in general numbers, general numbers, currency, accounting, date, time, percentage. Okay, we can look at alignments. So there's that. We've also looked at tools, options, tab, and we've also looked at insert worksheet and we can see I put another worksheet there however if I put another worksheet there I can move it along all right so it's possible just by pressing down on these things to move them along all right back to our basic Excel matters we also looked at merging and centering if we wanted to create a, uh, a title. Thank you very much.